Howdy champs, my name is Martin guys, so I want to show you Dreamweaver uh, behaviors Okay, already have a behavior ready for you uh, I'll first show it to you and then we'll uh, do it uh, with you once uh, once again Okay, guys uh, Here is a div, okay uh, I'm calling it test div and uh, it has a picture inside it The size of the picture is 600 pixels by uh, 350 rather 375 all right and see what happens when I go to the live view guys and when I click on this picture immediately you'll see that the picture actually changes okay you get a border all around it's a dashed black border right so this was made possible through JavaScript and uh, you see JavaScript uh, you don't need to actually write the JavaScript it uh, you just need to uh, call that function and it happens automatically for you so this is possible through Dreamweaver uh, behaviors okay I've attached four behaviors out here I'm gonna replicate the effect in front of you and you'll understand it much better right so let me close this file up and uh, let me start creating a new file the first thing that I'm uh, gonna do is I'm gonna say insert uh, layer objects div tag okay uh, I'm gonna call it test div right uh, click on the new CSS rule I'm gonna say okay okay the div that I wish to create would be 600 by 375 pixels okay let me go to the background uh, category let me you know select a background image let me go with this image uh, coffee and uh, right let me say okay and okay once again and there you go you have some text out here let me delete that right let me save the file up let me say file and a save and uh, give it the same name test I'm gonna override the older file which is fine all right so basically all that we have on in the document right now is a div or a division the size of which is uh, 600 uh, width 375 height and it has an image which is uh, you can see out here in the code area a coffee dot jpg image all right now let's start attaching behaviors one by one okay guys you have to be in the tag inspector tab okay and then go to behavior or alternatively what you can do is you can go to window and you can hit behavior shortcut key shift plus F4 function 4 cool <coughs> once you're out there guys you would need to click on this plus button go to change properties okay automatically the type of element uh, is selected as div which is fine the element ID is test div you can notice out here that it's uh, showing in the properties pane it's test div which is fine and I would want to change the background image that's the first thing that I would want to do okay select the the option from the drop down uh, menu as background image let me change it to a different image uh, in my local site folder I've got an image which is drink.jpg I'm just gonna replace uh, coffee with drink let me say okay and guys uh, out here you can see it says on focus please change the property I'm gonna change on focus to let's say on click right let me save the changes up and let me go to the live view okay now guys as soon as I'm gonna click on the image you can actually see that the background image completely changes to a different image that's cool as cool as this drink <laughs> okay let me come with the live view now I'm gonna add one more behavior I'm gonna say plus then I'm gonna say change property okay and uh, this time let me add a border and the new value should be solid that's all that I wish to put out here let me say okay change the on focus to a click uh, save the changes up and uh, go to the live view click and you can see not only does the image change I also get a nice border cool let me come with the live view uh, click on the coffee JPG image 
click on the plus button to add one more uh, uh, behavior let me go to change property this time I will change the border style okay let me go with dashed okay let me say okay and change the on focus to let's say mm, on click let me save it up let me go to the live view let me click it and there you go dashed border guys right let me go to the live view click on the image add one more behavior let me say change property and this time let's say border color let me say red okay mm, let me say okay change on focus to on click let me go to the live view click and there you go guys cool very cool save it up let me cover the live view right let me add one more behavior let me say change property and this time I can change the display uh, let's try the display let's say none how many of you know uh, what it actually does uh, we'll soon see so display set to none let me say okay change on focus to on click right let me go to the live view let me click it's gone <laughs> that's what uh, happens when you uh, you know have the new value as none let me set it back to block sorry that's a block that's the default behavior guys let me say okay and uh, let me show it to you this time right okay select the image click on the image select the image say plus say change property let's see what else uh, I would want to do now uh, I wouldn't want to change the font family font size font style font rate because we don't have a font out here it's an image that we have let's try changing uh, let's say margin let's say margin left okay camel casing guys notice out here everything is in camel casing it's not the way uh, we write things in uh, HTML uh, please observe camel casing guys margin small m left capital M right and the new value let's say 50 px okay and the trigger will again be on click there you go right live view click it and you see the displacement uh, by 50 pixels right so very very cool guys let me hit the plus button guys let me hit the change properties once again guys have a look out here the type of element that you can affect is not only a div or a division you can affect a span tag, a TR tag, a TD tag, an image, a form, an input box, you know, a checkbox, uh, and uh, a lot of things, you know, a lot of elements that you can affect. All right. So let me cancel it up. So, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. You found it informative, uh, enjoyed it, and I hope to see you very soon with yet another reviewer uh, tutorial. Could be Flash with ActionScript 3. Have a good day, guys. Bye bye. Peace. Ciao.